beautiful home far, far away. Osnachi's husband, who has been detained at the FCT Police Command Abuja over the course of the demise of his talented gospel singer wife, made his first appearance in front of the Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman Al Kalibaba, and Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Kedem Talem, OFR, on April 20th. This is coming after she demanded clarifications on the rumored release of the suspected alleged killer husband, Peter Wanchuku, from police custody. Osnachi's elder sister, brother and children were also present at the meeting, including her twin sister who broke down in tears after seeing Peter for the first time since her twin sister's death. Osnachi's autopsy result, as we know, has been delayed and people are beginning to wonder what is going on. After the singer's death, many fingers were pointed at her husband as being the cause of her death, including her colleagues, her best friend, and even her music producer all voiced out. Although Peter Wanchuku's response or attempt to defend himself was not made public during his meeting, it looks like the 50-year-old husband of the late singer still stands by his word and denied all allegations of battery, assault and other domestic violence levied against him by Osinachi's family members and close associates. Regardless of the IGP of police promising justice, with the way this case is going, do you think Osinachi will get the justice she deserves? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. On April 20th, the Inspector General of Police IGP Usman Al Kalibaba received the Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Kadem Talem, OFR, who paid a courtesy visit at the Louis Edet House, Force Headquarters, Abuja, before they proceeded to present Peter Anwanchuku before a hearing in front of his family and children. Dame Pauline Kadem, who first visited Osnachi's children at home a few days after her passing, and her young children detailed how badly her father treated their mother. Heartbroken, she vowed to make sure Osnachi got justice. Speaking to the IGP of police, she pointed out the recent case of the famous gospel musician whose untimely death on 8th April 2022 has caused a public outcry that needs urgent justice. As the case is slowly getting cold, she demands to know what efforts the police have put in place to ensure quick justice is dispensed for Osinachi's family. The Inspector General of Police, reacting, noted that the untimely death is heartbreaking, particularly as all information from sources close to the family and independent witnesses point to her husband, Peter Owanchuku, as the person who sent her to an early grave. He confirmed that the FCT command of the Nigeria Police Force, in whose jurisdiction the incident occurred, arrested the deceased husband on Sunday 10th of April evening at their residence in Lugbe, Abuja. He further emphasized that considering the sensitive nature of the case and the need to get justice quick, the command has approached the National Hospital Abuja for post-mortem examinations on the deceased to ascertain the cause of death and if her husband is found responsible for her death, will be charged to court and tried. Because of the allegation, the husband has been arrested and he is undergoing interrogation and, uh, and if found to have committed this he will certainly be prosecuted. Meanwhile, in all, all cases of uh, this nature, uh, there is an expert opinion which is required. And it is because of this that the police have approached the National Hospital where the corpse is deposited to conduct a postmortem examination to get an expert opinion as to the cause of death. It is a matter that will impress the entire nation. It is a matter that will impress the government. And therefore, the Office of the Attorney General will also be involved in looking into our investigation for them to do the arraignment and possible prosecution. This is coming after several people, including our children, testified that Osnachi's husband maltreated and beat her to death. Apart from her mother, family and children called out and blamed her husband, Peter, for sending the talented singer to an early grave. Her colleague and close friends also pointed fingers at him and alleged it was the cause of her death. Gospel singer Frank Edwards was the first to cry out on Instagram Live hours after her death, making shocking claims about the horrible way her husband treated her. Osnachi's producer, Sonny P, who was working with her before her death, also made some sad revelations and had so much to say about how her husband treated her. 
He talked about how he personally told Osnachi to leave the marriage, but she kept making excuses for the man he called Monster. He revealed the last song they recorded and how Osnachi didn't want her husband to know. Sonny P concluded his point by saying that Mrs. Osnachi Owanchuku is an example of a typical Nigerian woman who constantly feels it's their responsibility to make a marriage work even when their life is at risk. Osnachi's close friend also spoke to BBC Pigeon and also joined several other people to castigate the husband, recalling one incident when he forced her to sleep at a brothel during a Lagos visit instead of staying at her place. She was shocked. Osnachi had no money and had to wait at the airport for her husband to send her money before she could find a place to stay that fateful evening. She added that this was the time Osnachi revealed to her that her husband managed her money. There were no hotel booking to her or anything. I said, oh, it's fine. Come and stay with me now. I said, okay. I said, have you eaten? No. She hadn't eaten then. So I called my sister. I said, please, Osi is coming. Can you make something? So my um, sister prepared something and everything. She came into Lagos around 10. We were in touch when she departed, when she boarded, when she landed, she called me. It's late now and we've already prepared for you and I'm sure he won't have any issues. Let's say she'll get back to me. Because then she called me back and said that her husband said no. So I was like, what do you mean? It's late. You don't even live in Lagos. So, what's the plan? What is he saying? I see no say no gagacho hotel. He said in a cho hotel na banya. We can give him a cho hotel. Can I call him? He said what? Name phone, name number, Cambodia. Told the guy who I was. Told him that I was 15 minutes away from the airport, so it's I can come and pick her. It's not it's not an issue at all. I said, please, can you allow her to come and stay with us? The man said no. So I was trying to persuade him. Like, you know, it's very late. And it's not good for her to be out at this time. Looking for a hotel. She doesn't know anywhere now. If it, the hotel was booked ahead, it's fine. She'll just go find her way there. But she will have to start searching for So he said no. That's fine now. That's She's not going to stay with anybody. Like, he doesn't like her staying with anybody. He said, no, that's fine now. That's how we ended the call. The shocking thing was that Osi had to stay at that airport and wait for him to send money for her to go and get the hotel room. When they got to the first hotel, he said, madam, you know if you stay here, now shall they stay here? I was getting angry, I was getting upset. I said, oh snatch, let me come and pick you. What is this? <laughs> I was very, very upset. We have a place for you to stay. We have food for you to eat. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to drive around? This Why she wasn't the one getting her money by herself? Why she had to be giving money in pinches? So that was when I knew something wasn't right. We grew up together in Enugu and we've been, we were in Glorious Singers, it's an a cappella um, gospel music group, you know. She was a pacifist, but an extreme pacifist. So it's been very tough. And then she believes that as a Christian, divorce is not really an option. But I, I think she told people, you know, she had to share a bit. I think she told people, some people that she trusted. But her telling you, she's not telling you for you to expose her. She's telling in confidence. So, she didn't want to hear, leave him. They tried. Her twin sister tried. Obali. 
We will also later learn that Osnachi had no bank account of her own and all the money she made from singing went straight to her husband's bank account. Osnachi's spiritual father, Pastor Paul Enneche, also spoke about what he knew about Osnachi's case. Apart from reports circulating that she allegedly died due to a kick on the chest from her husband that landed her in hospital, Pastor Enneche, however, said he was made aware of an undisclosed illness in January of this year before he helped the couple who came to him to attain several medical tests and results. He said Osnachi called him from a hospital bed and she was improving before he left for Cameroon for a crusade. She called me daily, I mean, literally daily, and prayed with her. She reported progress. The point came where she didn't know oxygen anymore. Uh, according to what she said to me one night, and that they checked her oxygen perfusion, and it was 100%. And we were very, very excited at that progress. That was the point it was before we went over to the crusade in Cameroon. It was at, in Cameroon the second night that I got to know of the unfortunate incidents of her passing. Since then, there have been reports that an autopsy is being carried out. It's been over three weeks now and members of the public who are so heartbroken, sad and interested in this case are still yet to receive the result. Can we all agree that Osnachi's tragic death case is getting cold? Do you think she will get the justice she deserves? Many people blame Osnachi for not walking away from the marriage. Would you say our story has opened a lot of eyes? Are you worried Peter might be a free man if the autopsy proves nothing? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you'd like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.